Hello everybody, what is going on? It is your boy C4 here, and here we're here again with another Madden 15 roster reveal of what I think the rosters in Madden 15 are going to look like. Uh, you guys gave me a great response to my first one where I just did a general overview. Today we're go continuing going through each individual team, today, and we're on the Cincinnati Bengals. So as you can see right here, starting at quarterback, Andy Dalton. We give Andy Dalton the 84 overall. Uh, had a great year offensively, but still turned the ball over way too much for me to give him anything higher. Uh, 4,300 passing yards, 33 touchdowns, outstanding numbers, but 20 interceptions is not going to get you uh, anything higher than 84. I personally don't. I, I, cheer, I hope Andy Dalton does do good. I liked him I didn't, when he was at TCU. Uh, but, I mean, this year is really for you guys, you Bengal fans, you can probably attest to this. This is really a make-or-break year for him. He needs to start to be able to get it done in the clutch. Uh, you also, oh, there you go. You also got uh, the rookie, A.J. McCarron, getting the 67 as well. He's going to be a depth guy this year. At running back, we give Giovanni Bernard an 84 overall. Uh, had 1,200 total yards last year. Uh, just wasn't as uh, as a pure running back. I couldn't really give him much higher. Uh, as he only had 700 yards and five touchdowns as a pure running back. But this guy is an absolute dual threat. He's going to have a monster year this year. Look him up for fantasy football. Uh, ben Jarvis Green, I'll still have to give him a 78. But I do think from pretty much everything I've read that Jeremy Hill, the running back at LSU, will probably be the number two running back there. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, what do we got here? Running uh, Wide receiver, obviously you got to give A.J. Green the 96. A.J. Green, one of the best wide receivers in the league. Finished last year with 1,400 receiving yards and 11 touchdowns. This guy's an absolute animal. Uh, Marvin Jones also really came on strong uh, last year. He had, uh, what do we have? What was this? Total Z. Let's find some Marvin Jones. 777 yards, 10 touchdowns. I believe he had a four-touchdown game, which kind of inflates those, but still great hands. I think the loss of Adrian Hawkins is going to be really, really tough. I really like that guy in the slot uh, as he moves to Cleveland. But they obviously, you still got Mohamed Sanu, who can get in more reps. Uh, you know, And for the tight end, they kind of have a good two-headed tight end uh, core of Tyler Eifert. The, the, had a good rookie year out of Notre Dame. Finished with 445 yards and two touchdowns. And Jermaine Gresham, uh, I think Louisville was a former first-round pick. Last year had 458 yards, four touchdowns. But I think both these guys will develop. Uh, we still haven't seen the best football out of them yet. Offensive line, you got uh, left tackle still needs to be kind of figured out there. Uh, left guard, though, you got Andrew Whitworth, 96. Center, uh, Trevor Robinson, 76. Right guard, Kevin Zeitler, 87. One of the better right guards in the league. And right tackle, Andre Smith. I believe a lot of people thought he was going to leave. Uh, this offseason, but still retained him. We gave him the 92. They have a great offensive line there in Cincinnati. Uh, left end, Carlos Dunlap, my boy from the University of Florida. I think Carlos Dunlap's one of the more, more underrated defensive ends and will be, really be able to shine. I do think he was better than Michael Johnson. Uh, Carlos Dunlap was seven and a half sacks last year and 60 some tackles. Absolute beast. Uh, right end, Will Clark, the rookie out of West Virginia, probably will start. Has a good chance as any to start. Uh, great intangibles at 6'6, 270. Uh, Geno Atkins, again, even though he had an injury last year, still I would probably put money that he is the best defensive tackle in the league, at least as in regards to a 4-3 defense. Uh, I mean, he's one of the few. Uh, he had six sacks in nine games last year. I mean, if he would have played a full season, he would have been could have had a chance to push 15 as a defensive tackle, which is insane. Uh, left and side linebacker definitely needs to be addressed. Uh, middle linebacker Ray Mulaga had a good year last year, but I think Vincent Ray might have a chance to outshine him. Uh, Vincent Ray looked great last year. He only started three games and had four sacks, uh, fifty some tackles, which was great. Uh, right outside linebacker, my boy Vontez Burfik out of Arizona State. Really liked him at Arizona State. Had a lot of kind of off field issues going into the draft. Ended up going undrafted. I was so hoping Philadelphia would get him, but no, they missed out. He had almost 170 tackles, three sacks, one interception. I mean, he's an absolute animal. Probably maybe the Bengals' best player, arguably, uh, him and A.J. Green last season. Absolute playmaker, Vontez Perfect. Uh, corner, we gave Leon Hall a 92. Terrence Newman skitting up there in age. Still can pull in an 84. Uh, Pac-Man Jones had a good year last year, 81. But the rookie, Darquise Denner, getting the 79 overall. I think he has a chance to push in to get some starting roles at least. Uh, at the very least, he'll be able to bump out. I think Dre Kirkpatrick, Dre Kirkpatrick might be... Uh, you know, you might just have to chalk that up to a bust and move on. Um, free safety, you got Reggie Nelson with an 83. And strong safety, Daniel Manning with an 80. Uh, kicker, Mike Nugent, 83. Punter, Kevin Huber, I believe he got. Didn't he get fucked up in one of those games in the playoffs, maybe? Still giving him an 82. But there you have it. There is your Cincinnati Bengal roster for Madden 15 projected. 
As always, if you're a Bengals fan, leave me in the comment section below if anyone should be upgraded or downgraded. I look for your feedback. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Beast Mode TV. Smash the like button so I know you guys like these videos, so I will continue to do them. And until next time, it is your boy C4 saying peace out.